Okay, so now let's talk about some more keyframing options to speed up our workflow and give us more control. Okay, to start doing that, we're going to use key sets. Up to now, if you hit the I key, these are basically essentially key sets. So they are, uh, like for example, if I just want location and uh, scale, or location and rotation, or just location, right? I'm just choosing a set of uh, channels to, key to keyframe on. Well, we can do that automatically and bypass that menu. We can do that down here in the key sets menu. So let's just choose location here and, um, and see how that works. So now if I have this monkey at the start, let's just hit the I key and now you see there we go. I got keyframes already, I didn't get that menu. Okay. And if you want to make custom keying sets beyond what's in here, you can do that over here in the uh, keying set, uh, the, the scene panel under keying sets and make your custom keying sets for multiple objects and so on and so forth that can get quite a bit advanced. All right. But for now, we're just going to use this simple uh, choice. All right. So now let's uh, go further on. Wait, before we do that, actually, we want to turn on auto keying and make sure that this blue, this uh, key uh, icon here is set to blue, which means it's uh, going to say that whenever we make a, a auto key, it will give us the location, okay, from that keying set. So let's just move forward here, and now let's move it back up to there, and give ourselves a nice uh, straight animation there. And so up to now we're good, because now I've got a nice clean, um, got a nice clean curve to edit with, with this uh, Bezier uh, control handle, right? So that's that's all clean and good. Right, so but obviously usually animation gets a lot more complex than that. So let's just uh add some more complexity. Let's uh animate it a little bit on the uh X here like that. Like that. And then so there we go. Alright. Now uh that was all okay just for leaving it like this, but as soon as we want to come back and start animating this curve, you see now we're uh, restricted by the other keyframes that got put on that channel. So we don't want those. So let's just delete those for now. And so we get that control back on that curve. Right? So um, there we go. So it's going to be a little bit smoother. I mean, it's not that drastic, uh, but it gets more complex when we start adding another channel. So let's uh, animate on the Z now. All right. So you can see we have that there. Let's just say I want it to, in about the middle of the animation, I want it to go up on the Z, like that. So we've got auto keyframing on, and it's making keyframes on all the keyframes, all the location frames. And then over here, at the end, I want it to be all the way down like that. Okay. So now this is not giving us what we expected. You can see already that curve right there. See, instead of giving us just, you know, up and down, it's it's not doing quite that. It's doing this little hop there in the middle. And the reason is because on this uh, channel, I've already got keyframes here and here before the keyframe that I wanted to add here. Okay, so I have to get rid of those keyframes like that and like that to get that nice clean sweep on that uh, Z channel going up and down like that. Okay. All right, so um, now to further control our animation, we don't have to uh, go back and clean all that stuff up. We can just simply, uh, let's start by deleting these keyframes. Just delete those. And so now we're back to basically just being straight on the, uh, on the uh, Z. And if we lock these other um, channels down, this is different from up here. This is for like if you're just moving stuff. You don't want to lock it there. You want to lock it down here in the um, graph editor. So we're going to lock X and Y. And uh, when we do that, now we've already got keyframes here. So let's go in the middle, move it up like that. And it makes that keyframe there. And now let's go back over here and let's bring it down like that. And so it makes that keyframe there. So that automatically just animated for us only on that channel, giving that extra control that we're looking for. Okay, so that's pretty standard uh, when you're animating. You're going to want to be able to animate on one channel at a time. It's a lot faster that way. You don't have to clean everything up. Okay, so that's how you do that.